welcome back to my vlog now today i'm gonna head into ocean coral spring it's my friend's birthday weekend i am so so excited to go to ocean spring um this mini vacay i'm actually so very ready for it so next stop Next stop, Ocean Coral Spring. All right, guys. So this is the entrance. Now, driving from Montego Bay, Ocean Coral Spring is 45 minute drive. Right, the entrance is nice and grand to the left as you enter. There's a big football field. You know, palm trees lining the entire area. And when we got here, there was a band outside playing music and greeting everyone. And to be very honest, all this time I thought my phone was recording, but it wasn't. Um, they also have the sanitization area where they sanitize their luggage now entering the lobby area the lobby area is very grand it is huge there has that plane right there they have a bar you know nice open space now while we were in the lobby area check the checking in process for my friend and i we were sharing room it was pretty smooth but like i said i'm here for my friend's birthday weekend and two of our other friends they they didn't have a room for them so the checking in process for some even other persons that were there where there was a lot of difficulties um to say the least it took a very long time for them to get their room after a while of checking and checking again to see if the room were ready we actually left and went to our rooms even though they didn't have their room just yet but guys the hotel is beautiful look at this it's big and grand and what i like about it is that it's just building one and building two so there's not much confusion not a lot of walking up and down per se and my room was on building one and my friend's room the birthday girl her room was on building two all right so now we're gonna head up to our room and i'm gonna show you guys let's give a tour of my room which is was a garden view and then my the birthday queen room which was a swim up room guys man i like to know it's like ocean chorus bring the confused but which tile they you use upon the three different color tiles i'll wait till the scene at the bathroom but anyways this is the elevator again it come like and they forget about the elevator or something because the elevator is so small like i could barely fit in it like our our room was one floor up so my friend that i was sharing room with she just took the stairs but i mean the elevator, I guess, is just for luggage because it makes no sense. There's absolutely no space to turn in it at all. All right, guys. So this is our room. Let's start with the bathroom. All right. So, oh, that's a modern. It's like a, <laughs> like a floating bidet. <laughs> And then the shower is right here. Oh, it cannot. It cannot narrow, but as always, they all have a uh, rainfall ceiling shower head, which I like. And then the handheld shower head. The handheld shower. These are hers. Can't complain. It's a nice mirror. The lighting, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And the vanity mirror. Both sides. And then this is the tub. Now I like to see that tile here. I'm not really like that tile here personally. The white one here, they give me the prison lifestyle. You know, they're like prison tiles, but a good amount of hotels have them. So now this is our safety box or mini fridge. It is stocked, and here's our little P that shows that it says all air all products from the mini bar have already been sanitized all right so you know the protocols are a1 that's the safety box right here and this is our closet again guys place them stuff come with iron steamer to the thing all right if we get with the times get with the times so another closet yeah another closet uh, this is our mirror. It kind of too close, you know, like we can have a, you know, like, you know, but it's a full net mirror and that's all you really need. Double occupancy, two full size bed, one for Katie, one for me, ceiling fan, and, you know, a TV. This, oh, 
I don't know. Alright, not nothing like this, I just more storage space. Right? And one more look at the beds from this angle. Alright, and you have a sitting area. I like this mirror. I really do like this mirror. It's a decent space, you know, length in between. And then your, your desk. You just put on the laptop right this and do a little bit of editing. And this is the old view. You should have a garden view. Alright, so I had to voice over this part. Reason being the pool party was going on. We came on a Saturday and the pool party is on a Saturday. And if you didn't notice, as you open the doors, you could hear all of the music. So which means that the noise cancelling effect of the doors or the curtains quite good. But this is our view from our room. And I feel like each room had a view of the pool or the garden. Um, yeah, I was just saying that, you know, it's my friend's birthday weekend and i'm gonna go down to her room do a little video because she has one of the swim up room and then we're gonna head straight down to the pool and enjoy the party because i mean that's what we're here for to enjoy ourselves yeah. all right guys so this is the birthday queen's room so we're gonna go up to another bit come in right you see the difference in the different look at this i don't drink coffee but this this is nice it's a nice setup you know for the other coffee lovers again i don't drink coffee i don't even know what type of coffee this is but this is nice right mini fridge safety box this is the which is pretty much the same it's pretty much the same yeah, the bathroom is the same. The top. And now. I love it. So you get an umbrella as well. I don't know if that was left there or if that's company. Like, you get an umbrella as well. No, this mirror has more space than my mirror. You see that? So this is a kind of camera, but it has more space. And I like that. So this is where the selfies will be taken. Right here. Also the double bed. You know, their coach is different from ours. Right? Privilege. You know, when you're part of the privilege club, you know? Get the complimentary skills and more. again i don't know if you guys notice the difference in the music when i open the doors like you hear the music immediately so like that just goes to show the noise cancelling effect of the door but anyways again i'm voicing over because of copyright and this is the swim up pool right here you know they have some amount of partition between each room now one of our other people that were with their room was just adjacent to ours and you know it's just <laughs> It's beautiful, like it really is. But out there, the sun at. I'm not about I don't talk. The sun at and the umbrella one of the sit in the closet. It's safe for life. I'm not telling you no lie. But yeah, it's shadow o'clock. Um, we still didn't get the room for our friend, and this was probably four o'clock now. But we got these shots here, and we got to take them. We got to start the party. After taking those shots, I went. I changed. I am ready to go to the pool. They were still waiting on the room and to be very honest i was tired of waiting so i went down to the pool and you know the place the pool is very big very open and it's enclosed by both buildings so like i said there's building one and there's building two now this right here is building two right so technically everybody have a view of the pool or a view of, and this is building one which is what i was on and may i tell you no, copyright can't play the music but the dj was a one right and what i really truly truly loved about this hotel was that majority of the people that were there that were staying at the hotel were, were locals so there were a lot of locals and everybody was just vibing and enjoying themselves and as you can see it's a swim up bar right and this is their top shelf so to speak right now if it is that you didn't want to be in the water you could also get up to the bar from the other end where you didn't have to go in the water 
and they were not stingy with the alcohol as you can see right um obviously oh i'll mix up but yeah as always i get a pina colada duh and you know by the time i went back up to the room and all of these people got ready the pool party did finish <laughs> you can't imagine that so the pool party is like from two to five this is us walking around just to see what else was going on because i said there was going to be a bull riding contest thing further up top so we went up there when we got up there we found out that it was going to be at 7 pm so we had a whole two hour to spare and there wasn't really much to do so we we're taking picture after picture after picture when we got here quinceanera was happening but then they stopped playing the jamaican music but that was short-lived so yeah, but it was still fun um i'm gonna do a quick tour of the place all right so here they have the coffee shop and inside you step in and you smell nothing but coffee now i don't drink coffee so i never had it but inside was very nice and they have cookies which are for free and some other little um, pastry so you can stop here and get all of that if you wish right but oh they have multiple different um store outlets like for clothes you know if you want to buy knickknacks to go back abroad you know souvenir or if you want to buy swimsuits in case you, you left your swimsuit they have all of that there now they also had this store which not this one but this one house of diamonds right now you know your girl had to go in there and do some window shopping right so me and the birthday queen went in there and they had movado and i am a sucker for movados right i really am i'm a big fan um so like i said we we're doing some window shopping while we were in there um they were telling us that they had a little raffle so the raffle is you sign up you put your room number that's a birthday queen <laughs> you put your room number and oh my god guys look at these diamonds oh god they were so anyways what i was saying you sign up right you write down your name and your room number and the raffle was the following day at 11 a.m and you had to be there so if you if your name get called and you're not there then you did it you wouldn't get the price right and they were giving away a blue diamond necklace now they they have the glasses you know it kind of remind me of like any one of those little stores you see in the in the in the airport and they had white hennessy which i think is good because for people who live abroad you know it's hard to get anyways back to the rest of the tour um they had this one restaurant which is called sakura which is a japanese restaurant where they make the food in front of you now with this restaurant you have to make your reservation very quickly they were only open the saturday and like i said we came the saturday and the saturday we were there they were already booked out one the Sunday we called extremely early to try and make a reservation only to hear that they're not open on the Sunday either. So that's Sakura restaurant. It's a very, and that's the only restaurant where you have to make a reservation. This is the sports bar. This is where they keep the party and the party goes up to like 1 a.m. And they keep that every night. Aren't these paintings just beautiful? Anyways, they have multiple different restaurants all beside each other. So you can take a pick. This is the sugar cane. That was the Thailand restaurant. I never went to that one either um never went to this one either went to this one route 66 that's the one i went to in the night that was just a quick tour of the different restaurants that are here I finally brought caught up with the rest of the crew and the bowl was finally here and it took a while to set up like a good half an hour by the time we finished doing that it was night as you can see everybody already left me to go back up to the room to get ready for dinner but i was determined <laughs> to ride this bowl and it was a lot of fun it really was like the man did that deal with me really rough, me not lie, but so it goes sometime. And you know <laughs> everybody really had a kick out of it, you know. This young lady right here, she she was like, you know, look at her here. Gone with the wind fabulous, like poker hunters, you know, just left and right, left to right. But yeah, she enjoyed it almost more than I did, if you ask me. But that's just my humble opinion. But I went up to the room, actually changed, got ready, and I came again because you see, the reason why I drop off so quick is because I wasn't in any pants and it rubbed your thighs. So I went upstairs and I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna go wear some pants today now and I'm going to tackle this bull. It get me Yeah. And as you can see, I rode it longer this time, so I was good with that and then I fell off and but 
all in all it was a good time so they have the bull riding which is from 7 p.m to 9 p.m i believe anyways i went down to the room caught up with the girls that were ready we took a couple pics you know feeling ourselves and then we decided to go and get dinner now dinner was at route 66 now guys unfortunately i did not get to vlog the food properly because while we we're at the restaurant we had this game that we we're playing we put down our phones and whosoever took up the phone first had to pay 10 grand or something like that so i don't really have the greatest picks <laughs> from dinner so this is it route 66 and this is their menu it's a barbecue restaurant so they mostly had ribs pulled pork surf and turf bar burgers sandwiches and stuff like that remember guys <laughs> the bed so i was actually trying to sneak a peek this was the appetizer it was a soup and it was actually okay and this is a picture of my dinner by this time the bit was over but i still forgot to vlog the food but i did sneak this one in and my ribs was amazing now i enjoyed my ribs but not everybody enjoyed what they got and we really ordered everything off the menu this right here is a picture of the different restaurants a different time like i was saying route 66 off a late night snacks which goes from 11 p.m to 6 a.m so instead of going to route 66 as well as the regular dinner time i think you guys can go and get it in the evening anyways not everybody was feeling the dinner so we ended up going to the buffet after which is what typically happens every time i go to a restaurant well sorry every time i go to a hotel we always go to a restaurant and then end up at the buffet this is the birthday queen look at her dress so it's flowing Right, this is what she comes down in after she told us that it's just a casual thing. You know, <laughs> I almost never wore the dress pants, you know. Only wore it because I was going to ride the bull. So this is the buffet. They have pizza, they had spaghetti and meatballs. And they had each area labeled like this. So this is the cold cut section, you know. They had sandwiches. You can make your own sandwich with the different... Um, cold cuts that's there with a the salami or turkey they had um, brown stew chicken pumpkin string bean they also had roast chicken they also had stir fry now guys they had sardine as well now look at this alright we can't get them out of the them always have sardine that's always have the sardine now like is that it yeah? are that them say? yes yeah sure? And no also, no did <laughs> No sign no did at all. You don't go look like a sardine. We still no want it. Of course, a sardine. Me not ask Christ. A sardine. Yeah, without a doubt, it was sardine. They also had jerk chicken there, and my pleasant surprise. They also had sushi and it was actually good. Like the sushi was good. And this, like I said, was a pleasant surprise because I definitely had some of that. They also had a Chinese station. Now this sausage looked like Viennese sausage. They said it was pork. I think it was Viennese sausage. Again, I'm not asking Christ. I know this is Viennese sausage, right? Anyways, moving right along, they had mac and cheese, nuggets. I haven't had mac and cheese in a long time. So I got some mac and cheese. And this is the dessert area um they always have these beautifully arranged um desserts i don't even know if people really like them but i never got any of that but i did get a slice of cake that was heavenly right they also had a breakfast pastry there it was always out um it's, it's just always there i guess because they have plenty of it and then around here we have our assorted cheese right <laughs> now for all our fancy people out there now that we're full, it's time to head down to the sports bar. On our way, we saw this dope artist. He was there throughout the night. He painted Jada Kingdom, Muma Heavy, and this little girl right here. Like, super, 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 super talented. Like, this. <laughs> Boy, like, I couldn't get over it. Anyways, we went down to the sports bar. They have <laughs> they have the party there from 9 to at least 1 a.m. And this was Kadian and I killing some time playing some ping pong slash table tennis now <laughs> we ain't no joe foster all right let's just, let me just start there but i feel like after a while ah, we kind of got the hang of it you know we kind of started letting the ball hit the table you know like you know well not right here you know but we're really <laughs> 
really tried, really tried, but we got it right this time. Um, so like I was saying, the party, the party is from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. It's a DJ and it's really, you know, it's, it's, it's that party vibe. No, I did not do any videos from the party because one, I'm not going to video the people and I'm like that. Two, I was enjoying myself, right? Also, we had one of the many birthday cakes that was here for the birthday girl. We sang happy birthday. She blew out the candles and this cake was actually very, very, very good. We drank some more drinks and then after that, it led right into the party. All right, it's day two and in case you're wondering, we've been drinking, right? Some more fireball shots. We have the Hennessy, we have the Ray and Nephew White Rum, we have the Champagne. I have to finish all of this before we leave, right? So, more shots. Now, in case you guys are wondering what the Fireball tastes like, it tastes like Red Hot. Y'all remember that bubblegum Red Hot? I really hate it, to be very honest. But, yeah, it was a trooper. Gotta get some breakfast, though. You know, can't be doing all this drinking without any food in our stomach. So, breakfast time at the same buffet area of Martha's Market right you come in you sanitize right look at my my hand sanitizing skills you see how many times i rub my hand right there that's how you guys should do it anyways you take your temperature you sanitize your head in and you have to wait to be seated right and it was a wait um we went to breakfast breakfast closes at 11 a.m and i got there at 10 because it was so hard for me to get up because of the previous night this is the jamaican corner where they had pumpkin, boiled dumpling, banana, um, mackerel rundown, which I, I never got, but they said it did taste good. The scrambled egg station where you can pretty much tell them whatever it is that you want in your eggs. They had the different, let's say toppings, fillings, they had the different fillings, sweet pepper, um, tomatoes, onions, and all of that. They had the sandwich area where you can make any type of sandwich that you wish. They also had a cornflakes area so you could mix whatever cornflakes they had. I thought that was cool. I don't think I've ever seen that any other, any other hotel. And, you know, donuts. I, nah, like, I, I went a little overboard with the amount of donuts that I got because I had a little sweet tooth going on. And then they had the rest of the pastry area. Now, guys, inside was very packed. And I don't know if it's because we went for breakfast literally one hour before breakfast closes off. And maybe a lot of people went to breakfast that time. Or... If it was a case where there was just a lot of different people, there was a lot of people at the hotel, but breakfast was packed. Um, yeah, this is the pastry area again. The juice area. Again, we're back with the cheese station. So they have one at night and they also have one in the morning, right? <laughs> For all our cheese lovers out there. And then after the cheese station, there's a healthy corner for all our vegans and everybody that eats salad in the morning, all those nice healthy people. Tell me why the healthy corner was right beside the station that have all the sausage and bacon and pork sausage and all of that. <laughs> I also had fruit in syrup. So you have a fruit and you can dip it in any sauce that you like, which I thought was very nice because, you know, some people trying to be healthy. After breakfast, I went straight across the House of Diamonds because it was 11 a.m. and it was time for the raffle. Like I said, the rough is for a blue diamond necklace, but they're giving away some topaz gemstone for to four people before they go to the main prize. Mystic topaz gemstone, you can put it in a ring for the wife or a lovely necklace or uh, one of them footlet then, yeah? As any of footlet? Anklet. All right, anklet. yes, anklet. Okay, guys, so after giving away the four topaz gemstones, and they're just stones, so you can, like you said, put it in an anklet, footlet, whatever you want to put it in bracelet. All right, guys, you see how much shit the box hard? All right, because it's now time to announce. Well, it's time to pull the winning ticket for the blue diamond palm tree necklace. And that's why we're here. We're here to win the raffle, right? And this is the winning prize right here. Now, if you won one of the Topaz gemstone, your ticket was placed back in the box for a chance to go again. Now, do they do this raffle every day? I don't know. Maybe I was just fortunate to be there the time when they decided to do this particular raffle. And without further ado, he's gonna announce the winner. Two, one. Two, one. Oh, 
a man na bawe na I'm a foreign winner. I knew I was a. Wow. I see I'm in blue. See? My entire weekend. <laughs> you guys know I'm a born winner. <laughs> born winner. I was born that way. She came down for this. I sure did. She came down for this. The Lord watch made no greatness. mistakes. You see that? Watch, watch you greatness. see it match the blue on me, you know? Watch greatness. Right? See that? Watch greatness. You see that? Yeah, she's waiting, yeah, right? she's waiting she's long time. She's like, watch greatness. Oh, I'm the winner. Yeah. Watch the only greatness. thing we need now is a mobile watch with a little palm blue. Tree, necklace, real watch diamond. Real diamond. Watch it. Real diamond. Wow. Talk to me nice. Real diamond. Wow. God is so good. Talk to me nice. Have a look. 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 This is me and my prize heading down to the room to show everybody because they left me. They were doubtful that I was going to win. But while I was heading down to the room, I was actually passing the gym and decided to take a look. Now, the gym is right beside the spa area. So this is the entrance to the spa area. The nice little cute fountain, you know. Have a little buzz, right? So entering the gym, it's a nice standard gym. You can see the newness on it. You get what I say? You can see the newness and all the machines are pretty much standard machines that you find in any gym this is a smith machine so you can do your squats on it you have the leg press machine the abs machine there's some dumbbells in the back um you have a chest press machine right here shoulder press machine lat pull downs like i said the dumbbell in the back the only thing they didn't have was like the free bar so you could do you know free squats free deadlifts but I did realize that there was a small bar, which is this one, which is not ideal. But again, it's a hotel, so they're not going to have everything. And this is me doing some deadlifts because your girl missed the gym <laughs> the day before. So, you know, this is me doing the deadlift. You see that form, guys? You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Always the deadlift, guys. It's a compound exercise. And if you're a person that goes to the gym, you have to have it as one of your exercise that you do well a quick 360 again of the gym um brand new very clean you know abs machine for those who want to work on their abs the ellipticals are here and you know a nice big tv in the corner right here and they have the scale not that i was going on it so katie goodas is down by the beach so i'm heading down there to show off my price they also had some kites that they hoisted up in the air and they had just left them there well, this one got stuck in the tree unfortunately and one was stuck on the roof but the ones that were actually up and flying you know they have a little buzz you know and it was cute Jamaica, oh, Jamaica. i love this i absolutely love this i took some dope ass pics right here so guys remember head over to my ig page check out the pics if you haven't followed me as yet follow me over on ig and this is the beach oh wow I'm telling about Hotel Beach, you know. Hotel Beach, this is definitely not it. What is this rock stone? On top of rock stone. Wow. Horrible. What the? No beach will be Dr. Escape, you know. I mean, tourists will be tourists, so they'll definitely get in this water. I right know. And this other one more going about clearly occupied. Canoe. Get the yeah, so the hammock finally free up and I'm telling you like this hammock me being out here right here just chilling swinging by myself for the majority of the time was absolutely everything for me this was by far the best part of the vacation for me well, guys I'm my own personal photographer Ta -da. <laughs> Wow, this hotel is really, really nice. I recommend it. Guys, this right here is everything. It's just relaxing. So, like, over that side, those are the new hotels. So, they're building, a, they're building an adults only section, Eden Bay, and that's it. Yeah, so the breeze that beat my bad. But what I was saying in the previous clip is that they're building Eden Bay, which is the adults only section. And that's what I was trying to show you guys. This is actually me over on the other hammock that went and I came back, like I said. Yeah, so I already showed you guys that the beach is mostly rock stone. Another thing, it's shallow, so you can easily walk out there. However, the sun kind of feel like quicksand. The sun that is actually there when you reach further out kind of feel like quicksand. And there's some sea urchins 
in the water so you have to be you have to look out for that as well but the rock stone they really need to work on that anyways i did kind of take a dip so i went back up to the room and i changed and i was doing more touring all right guys so as i mentioned before there are pretty much two buildings we're on building one and the one over there says building two but the good thing with the hotel is that each doesn't matter which room you have you have a view of a pool so behind our building this building right here it's actually a pool with a slide and i didn't know what is right they have some hammocks right here what is still I mean, I want to look at shelter. You know, I want to look at shelter because kind of the sun dried up, but it's very, very cute. And the beach is all the way around there. All right, guys, follow me. So I'm gonna show you the other pool that they have here. It's the kiddies pool, like it's a kiddies slide. I was actually quite disappointed that they only have a slide for kiddies. Like, like adults don't like to go down a water slide. I don't understand. But they do have one. They also had a little grill shack here, which was actually right behind me, but I forgot to show it. That serves um, nachos and burgers and hot dogs. Of course, all that is free of cost. So this is a little kiddies area that they have here. And since I'm showing you all the other pools, let me just show you the lazy river that they have right here. It is between building two, as well as Eden Bay that they're currently building or they're currently working on. And this lazy river has a swim up bar that you go to and how can you not love that how can you not love the fact that I have a swim up bar i had to take advantage of that i met some guys by the bar and we took some shots now the shot was more juice than it was alcohol it was very very sweet if i'm being very honest but anyways time to actually finally meet up back with everybody else they're actually down by the pool already yeah so when i got around there the blue team was vibing up the place they were doing the synchronized dancing and everything there were actually some people by their pool just playing football keeping up and enjoying themselves now guys if you peep in the corner right there at the back you know you see that bicycle all right pay attention to that <laughs> Yeah, more people came up out of the water and were doing the dances. I even joined in as well. They were playing, um, follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. Yeah, again, guys, copyrights. I can't even play the music so you guys can have a good idea of what the vibe was like. And yeah, so the bicycle, yeah, we, we bore it because me did get tired of walk to and fro for go at the bar as the bar did all the way around the other side. So my bar, it. me did a tour here right now, but you see to be very honest the the the, the bicycle they kind of high and she never have no faith in me so <laughs> we never reach nowhere yet as she said no nah, no nah, she not nah, but i do it again but i already take the people on bicycle i'm tired to walk back and forth so i'm going around at the bar you know you see how far the bar is i know when i reach now they're all the way around on the other side yeah all the way around at the bar get some drinks get some cup get some ice and all of that for everybody and then head back around run to the the party section yeah after this everybody they kind of <laughs> want to ride off of the bicycle still so yeah we did that you know kind of like we were kids again um went back up to the top to get some ice cream because i never tried it the day before now the flavors they have mango grape nut cherry chocolate cookie and cream vanilla and they also had some cookies there which weren't bad no the manga ice cream was it baby love twist no it wasn't also guys check out that place in tawa st mary if you want very very good um handmade dairy free ice cream because that place have it this was my natural reaction to the ice cream manga ice cream here's a galasto is that enough for me yeah even though i was still eating it it really wasn't nice but anyways it was time for a bowling reservation that we need 5 p.m bowling appointment see it there on time well i'm here before everybody just to make sure i would made an appointment yesterday but we <laughs> we got sidetracked i went never miss i never want to miss this one so let's pull on a little tight over the swimsuit 
yeah so this is the bowling alley as you can see six lanes right guys you have to make a reservation right this was sunday we made a reservation for 5 p.m the day before we kind of went to make a reservation but went late if it's all like eight o'clock you come in here it's completely packed so if you go there just go straight over there and make a reservation they also have a bar over here as well and boys versus girls now to start stuff with a bang alexia are you next Pay attention to youngster in the corner. It was really just gutter after gutter for him. I thought that I was going to hit the spear, but I was mistaken. It was straight gutter for me. So yeah, I remember young Sarah that was getting gutter after gutter. Well, as always, there's some bit. So there was a bit and he, <laughs> he got his act together. I must say he got his act together. He, 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 he make up his mind said, no, sir, he could lose. And at this point, he really didn't get any pins. But this one, he got something and we were all super stoked. And he went again and got a full strike. I don't know how to say it, this enough. Yeah. So. You have a chance, right? You have a chance to catch up and do a strike. Right? I had to come back this skeddy. I had to come back a straight. Every time I'm straight. Watch out, she pull up like a sofa. I mean, at this point, I was in the lead and everybody had one more round. And no, but wait, another look on the guy in the corner, the man from the blue team. He said, one piece of ball flinging him deaf on the entire time, you know. Anyways, like I was saying, I was in the lead. This was the last round and everybody was trying to get a strike to see if they could beat me. Right, but you know, your girl is a born winner. I mean, that goes without saying, right? Uh, again guys look at blue team now I'm fling the ball hard enough yeah so at the scoreboard this at the scoreboard this born winner you know in everything we win i can never lose what you thought 
<laughs> anyways after bowling we went we got ready and we went to dinner um dinner was at red snapper which is open from 7 p.m to 10 p.m uh we had to, again you have to wait to be seated we also made a reservation for 7 p.m right uh, so this is inside of the restaurant now we had 10 persons so unfortunately they said they couldn't seat us inside because our party was too big so we sat on the outside which was okay but just giving you guys an idea of what the inside looked like so here's a full 360. all right so we were seated outside they gave us the menu we looked at it we ordered everything and then we waited for the appetizer to get there now the appetizers we had this soup now this was our seafood chowder soup i think and the shrimp that was in it was the shell of the shrimp that's all i could taste the shell of the shrimp so my advice is don't get that soup then we had the calamari and if it's one thing you can count on with these restaurants is that they're going to give you a piece of tomato as the appetizer we got a piece of tomato with the calamari and a piece of tomato and a piece of strawberry for the salad as well now the main course again i don't give up again some seafood thing with clam and calamari was not good this was fish filet look at it dry 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 granted they gave us the sauce on the side but it was it mm, it wasn't good at all and then i ordered the steak well done again dry again they gave us the sauce on the side but it still never helped presentation was poor plating was poor i felt as if though they were tired at this point and they may just start flinging on the something in another plate either way you know that wasn't it so we left and we went up to the buffet we hitched a ride with the golf cart that they have roaming the place and went straight to buffet again well guys that was pretty much it that was pretty much my stay at ocean coral spring all in all i would give this hotel an 8 out of 10 if i'm being very honest the entertainment was very good and i went there with friends and we had a very good time so again guys thank you for watching like share subscribe comment below and let me know what you thought of the video